Today, on what is supposed to be a joyous celebration of our nation's birth, I find myself angry. Not at the government. Not at the crooked, corrupt, slimy actors who have usurped the power of the people. I am angry at myself and those like me. The generations before me, who allowed ourselves to be played by these power-hungry men that have divided us into groups and then pitted one against another, all while they incrementally stole your most sacred right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Some of us blame the Republicans, others blame the Democrats, still others blame both. This is a coward's curse. I am to blame, and you are to blame. Tyranny in governments is inevitable when elective blindness is the rule, indolence is prevalent, willing ignorance is embraced, and courage is lost. Freedom has not died quickly in America, but degree by degree, in a multifaceted attack. First with the negation of state's power, a powerful federal government was never supposed to exist. Thomas Jefferson stated that, the true theory of our constitution is surely the wisest and best, that the states are independent as to everything within themselves and united as to everything respecting foreign affairs. Let the general federal government be reduced to foreign concerns only, and let our affairs be disentangled from those of all other nations, except as to commerce, which the merchants will manage the better, the more they are left free to manage for themselves, and our general government may be reduced to a very simple organization, and a very inexpensive one, a few plain duties to be performed by a few servants. Does that sound anything close to what we have today? The only good thing that came out of the Civil War was the abolition of slavery. Like all tyrannical risings, a righteous cause completely hides the nefarious reason. This war completely changed the fabric of our government. Federalism died a horrible, bloody death, and central power is firmly established under threat of total destruction for all who stand against it. Slavery was the trigger, added later to make the cause more palatable to the people. But make no mistake, power was the reason. Today, as we celebrate our nation's birth, we find ourselves right back in the same situation as we have been twice before. Calculating power-seeking men are busy pitting us against each other for what seems to be righteous reasons in order to retain and increase their power over all of us, while neither side cares one iota about any of us. They have created hot topics that stoke our emotions, like the Affordable Care Act or gun control. And then they run campaigns based on these hot topics, never intending to do anything about them. For example, in 2013, the Affordable Care Act was a hot topic for the Republican Party. They ran an aggressive campaign for the House and Senate, stating that if they were given the power, they would overturn this law. We gave them what they wanted, and they did pass over 20 bills through both the House and Senate. However, Obama simply vetoed them all. Since they did not have a supermajority, they could not override his veto. In 2016, they retained their power in the House and Senate, and now had a president who would finally sign any law that they would pass. How many did they pass? Zero. Nada. Zip. They never intended to overturn Obamacare. Suckers. All throughout Trump's presidency, the Democrats screamed and yelled about gun control. They gained control of the House and Senate in 2018. But they were thwarted by presidential vetoes from passing any bills on that topic. Then in 2020, they had the House, the Senate, and the presidency, and passed nothing. They spoke little about the topic until they lost the House in 2022. And then the screaming and hand-wringing started again. Suckers. They will drive us to bloodshed and burn us down to rule over our ashes. We need to wake up, peacefully stand up, and say no more. We will not support this corrupt system another second. Where are those today who love freedom more than life, liberty more than fortune, and the idea of America more than sacred honor? I am still willing to sacrifice my all for liberty's sake. How about you?